my son does seem to have a real passion for cars, the real ones as well as the toys. And, uh, you know, it's also dinosaurs, and, and, and that'll bring me back to a story which has nothing to do with what we're doing here, but uh, last Halloween, you know, my, my son is an extremely creative guy, and we had two costumes. My wife had bought him a Batman costume to be for Halloween, and my mom had purchased a costume that when you step into it and this blow-up dinosaur, it, it looked like it had legs coming over the dinosaur, so it would have been Brock just riding a dinosaur around. And I said, do you want to be the, you know, riding the dinosaur or do you want to be Batman? And he says, I want to be Batman riding the dinosaur. So we dressed him up as Batman, put him in this thing, and he was Batman riding the dinosaur. It was the funniest thing in the world, but that's his creativity. And he loves dinosaurs and he loves cars. And he gets me on the drawing table with him and he says, okay, draw some dinosaurs, but have them driving a car. You know? So we're doing that stuff. And, and if, if we get die cast of dinosaurs driving cars, you know, that comes from myself. Okay. Uh, ha have I ever been into collecting die cast? Uh, yes, I have been, and I still do. I have a ton of die cast in my house. What's interesting is I always just collected the cool hot rod stuff that I found, but every once in a while I'd find something that was just really rare and unique. One of the things about the die cast and, and being a collector, I went into an antique store probably 10, 11 years ago, and I found some original die casts that were in the packages still, and I bought this whole case for 300 bucks and there was probably 20, 25 of them in there and I brought them home and you know my first instinct is I want to open them up but I know these are rare so I started using them for trading value and I would get three or four of the original ones out of the packages for one of the ones in the packages so it was a great purchase I ended up coming up with a, a great collection. What excites me about my line is, is number one getting to see my, my own son enjoy him the way I did as a kid and uh, you know, it, it, once again, it's an extension of my childhood that makes it really exciting for me. The part of the process is just building new friendships. That's the coolest thing to me. You know, you meet a lot of neat people, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Well, a lot of times with this line, uh, we're building cars that I've already built that are that are real, but we're also making some uh, dream cars and working with the talented designers at RC2. Uh, they they can send me some proposals and say, what do you think of this? And a lot of them are really cool, and I say, yeah, let's build that. And uh, the other times is when something comes in, I might see something else that I want to do to it and say, hey, let's try this or let's try that, which is something I'm working on now. This is the proposal. You won't see it in the store like this, but uh, I'm working on a sketch right now that I'll give back to them, which is going to be a little bit different. We're going to go with a purple, black, and a silver, and uh, I think it'll be exciting. And then, you know, I might get this over there and go, hey, we can't do that. But uh, it, it's, it's all a part of the uh, process that makes it a lot of fun. Most of the overhauling cars, uh, those drawings are probably, or are, um, some of them are, are quick and some of them are, are can have a lot of time in them. I would say, I remember the Lance Armstrong illustration. They timed me on that. It was a 12-minute illustration. But then I spent four hours on the interior sketch. And, uh, you know, most of them are probably around an hour and a half to two hours. Yeah, I give them a copy of it. The originals belong to Brock, my son. <laughs> Whatever I can find is what I'll use. If I can get, if I can communicate. I don't think of my artwork as art. It's just a tool to build the art, which is the car. Um, so generally it's whatever I can find. I like to use different mediums. But the majority are, are, of them are marker paper, using uh, ad markers, a little bit of colored pencil, gouache, which is an opaque watercolor, and whatever it takes to make it look like a, a real car. We've never talked about uh, having the artwork with the cars, but that's very possible to do. Um, we, could, we could always entertain that idea. Anything I'd like to say to my diecast fans around the world, um, enjoy collecting. And uh, hopefully we'll keep bringing out things that you enjoy. All right, this is brought to you from joesdiecastshack.com. If you want your diecast, go to joes.